Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, before we get going, I ask you to please subscribe. And I ask you to please share these out on Facebook. I appreciate it. Um, today's video is on a more serious topic. Now, we all love Andy and Barney and Delmer Lou and Helen even and Otis and Floyd and all the Aunt B, of course. But... We have to face it sometimes that the people behind those characters are real life people and they deal with real life issues and um, Andy Griffith had to deal with a really tough one um, real tough uh, well, let's just get into it and then we'll go we'll pick it up as we go okay um for the cast of the Andy Griffith Show, it was all about collaboration, and they all held Andy Sr. in high regard till the end. Andy Sr. may have had an, an enviable and successful career in Hollywood, but the same could not be said about his personal life. Before his death, he was happily married to Cindy Knight and was doting father of two children, Andy Griffith Jr. and Dixie Griffith. Uh, a violent person and an addict, Andy Jr. was considered the exact opposite of his star father. In 1992, he was arrested and charged after beating his pregnant wife, Renee Denise, leading to a miscarriage. According to a Los Angeles police detective, Mike Coffey, Andy Jr. turned himself in after committing the barbaric act. He was accompanied to the police station by his lawyer, a complaint report filed by Denise revealed that the occurrence occurred on January the 6th, 1992. Now, she made it known that she and her real estate developer husband got into an argument, which escalated into a fight, and Andy Jr. was alleged to have hit his wife, who was only two months pregnant at the time, in their face. After that, uh, Denise claimed that he to have been kicked several times in her stomach. Deputy District Attorney Jeffrey Gutman stated that after the abuse happened, Denise not only suffered a miscarriage, but also had a broken finger. Further revelations explain that Andy Jr. once threatened his wife with a gun and fired it in another direction during a fight. After the complaint was filed, Andy Jr. was charged to court with four felony counts against him. You know, I almost feel like Andy when he was checking out... Uh, Helen in Kansas and racketeering charge. <laughs> um, three out of four counts included assault with a deadly weapon, negligently discharging a firearm, a spousal abuse, causing great bodily injury. During court appearances, Denise admitted to being a victim of abuse. She provided pictures that showed her body brutally injured in Andy's junior's defense. His lawyer claimed Denise could have obtained those bruises from an accident in Colorado. Now, she said uh, that, that she sustained no injuries after that accident. However, hospital records from Colorado were in Andy Jr.'s favor, as they revealed that Denise indeed suffered injuries from the car crash. The real estate developer's trial continued for months, and in September 92, he was placed on probation. Andy Jr. pleaded no contest. Uh, no consent after admitting to... Uh, beating his pregnant wife. In addition to his three-year probation, he was sentenced to 90 days he had spent in jail while waiting trial. Now, after doing this time, he continued his addiction to alcohol, which got worse. In 96, his body gave up, which is really weird because this is the year that I quit drinking myself. And he passed away at age of 38. His death was felt by many, but mostly by his father. Dixie once made it known that her brother's death affected Andy so, on a very deep level, but he could not go uh, to the funeral. According to Dixie, there would be too many cameras and magazines, and it was not the best place for her father to be. 
He lived with the grief for two decades before he died in his home in Manteo, North Carolina on July 3rd, 2012 at age 86. Uh, now Andy died of a heart attack after years of hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and coronary artery disease. A few days after his fa her father's death, Dixie opened up about how she felt. She said the day of Andy's death was unbelievable. Although Dixie knew her father had been sick for several years, a part of her could not accept his death. Speaking about her father's legacy, she made it known that she and her three daughters loved watching Andy Griffith's movies. Her favorite movie was Waitress, which she tagged as a beautiful movie. Unlike his role in the movie, Andy Sr.'s daughter said her father was nothing like that cranky old man. And that's what I got for you today. I'm sorry it's kind of a downer. I just thought I didn't have no idea. I mean, I knew he had kids, and they are adopted. Uh, but I had no idea. Um, and I'm not trying to make um, Andy Jr. look like um, a really, really bad villain, because I've been there. Alcoholism can do a lot of things to a lot of people. Uh, and it not only affects the person who's the alcoholic, but everyone around them in sometimes really, really bad ways like this, and sometimes worse. Um, uh, so that's all I got for you. I will say this, if, if you do need, uh, if you if one of you out there, or you have somebody that has an issue with alcoholism and you wanna vent, hit me up, I'm, I'll talk to you. And, you know, I'll help you best I can. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, please share these out on Facebook. Have a great, great day. Um, God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow. Be praying for you.